My name is Sherry Stockbridge and I've lived, I was born in Eltringham Street. We, me and lots of members of my family um, went to Eltringham Street School. Um, when we went to the meeting with Olivia down at the Alma Public House, um, I just mentioned to her how nice it would be for some of the blocks, or all of the blocks, to be named after members of my family, the family names. And she thought it was a good idea and um, took the names and phoned me, phoned me back and said, yes, yes, we're happy to do that. The company's happy to do that. So the family was absolutely delighted and it's gone on from there. Bevans is the, um, my grandparents' name, and we are all related to the Bevans family. Um, my mother married somebody called Peachy, and I am a Peachy, so a Bevans and a Peachy. I married someone called Stockbridge, so that's how we've got Stockbridge House. Um, my sister, my mother's younger sister um, married somebody called Summerby, and that's, that's her married name. My, um, my cousin, whose name was Oxborough, um, she married a guy from Newcastle, and so that's how we've got Oxborough. And my sister married someone called Francis. My grandparents lived, the name is Bevans, my grandparents lived at the old East Hill Estate, and during the war, my grandfather was very scared that a bomb would drop on, on the flats and as you can imagine, if the flats came down, nobody would be able to get out. So he wanted to move to a little house where he could have a garden with an Anderson shelter in, and that's what he did. Um, my grandmother wasn't very pleased because she had uh, quite a nice flat, kitchen, bathroom, and these little houses um, simply had a scullery and an outside loo, no bathroom. So she wasn't really happy to move here, but he insisted. Um, and that's how we came. Then during the war, my, my, my grandparents lived at number 12. During the war, number 10 became vacant, so my mother bought that, uh, well, rented that. She rented it with no roof on because it, it, was, <laughs> it was damaged, but um, she, she had somewhere after the war that she knew that would be repaired and she had somewhere to live because those times were difficult um, for people to get property after the war. My, Auntie Rose, who's, so my mother's name is Peachy, my Auntie Rose, whose name was Hersey, who we haven't got, she then moved across the road at number 15. Um, my mother and Auntie Rose had daughters. I moved to number 28, Eltringham Street. My sister moved to number four. Auntie Rose, who is Frances, Auntie Rose's daughter moved to number 24 which is Oxborough, and um, if you could sort this all out, these names. And then um, my mother's younger sister, which was Summerby, moved to number 26. So that's how we all um, came to be in the street. And we stayed in the street just really not too long ago. They moved out. Um, some of my family, naturally my grandparents passed away. My sister moved to Naples with a new partner. And um, the, the rest of the family moved down to Bogner, Bogner Regis. They wanted to go down on the south coast and that's how it happened. And, um, but my mum and me have stayed in the street and I love the street, I love the street. My mother went to the school. She's probably the oldest member of the family um, who went to the school. My mother's 92 now. Um, but when she went to the school, they were living at the East Hill Estate. She didn't live in Eltringham. She was working when they came to Eltringham Street. Um, so my two aunt, my aunt and my uncle, which were Bevans, they went to the, the school. Um, I went to the school. My sister went to the school. Uh, my cousins went to the school. My children went to the school. My cousin's children went to the school. So we all went to the school. Yes, lovely. <laughs> Uh, very, very friendly, very, very community spirited. Really, we had some wonderful street parties, um, you know, right from the Festival of Britain to Coronation to Jubilees. 
wonderful street parties and everybody got on really quite well. I think in those days people were more friendly and not so reserved but you have to remember we knew each other for many many years people moving into the area are virtual strangers but I must say that um, I suppose the area has become rather gentrified to what it was it was all working class people but I have to say they are the loveliest people that have moved in around here and I'm very happy to have them as my neighbours Probably um, Southside Shopping Centre, that's where, you know, that's been refurbished and that's, that's really nice there. So probably there, um, there's lots of local public houses and lots of pl places to dine. Old York Road is wonderful, the youngsters love it there. Um, I think they come, they finish work and come straight out of the station and there, there's restaurants and bars, everything's there for them. It really is a nice little area, yes. The area hasn't stagnated, it's moving on, it's moving on, it's, it's been given a bit of a renaissance, you know, there's lots of new projects going on and, and it does still embrace some of the old as our tiny little railway cottages, as they were called, are, is are going to face this new project. And, um, and then down at the Tonsleys and Old York Road and, and we have Battersea Reach and it's, it's, the two have come together and they're embracing one another and that's good. But I think, you know, I, I think they're doing quite well in the area, yes. It's, it's lifting it up, it hasn't let it stagnate, yes. And that can't be bad, can it? I think this is a very attractive property. It's uh, as much to say, you know, that my son would love to buy um, a property. You can't say more than that, can you? And it would be a continuation of the family in, in the new apartments. It would be wonderful, that would. I think it's a lovely idea. But um, I'm very impressed. I truly am very impressed. I, I must admit, when I found that the school was to be pulled down, although it had been empty for some years, um, I was disappointed. And I did try to um, save the school. We did write to English Heritage, and they said, no, there's many of these schools around. So, you know. And I, I thought, you know, once the powers that be had decided to, um, that the school was coming down and there was to be a, a new site, a new project with new homes, I thought, you've, well, let's go with the flow. You've got to embrace it. And I think that's what I'm doing here. No, not at all. Not at all, <laughs> I agree with you. And uh, I'm guessing then that as telling you, um, with their work over the next few years, you'll be keeping a very close yes, eye on what's going on. Yes, of course, on. I shall indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, will you be giving any, any sort of uh, words of advice along the way to make sure they're keeping on the straight and narrow? Um, don't forget that which was here before and the people that were here before. And I think that's what they're doing with this project because they've taken on board the family names for the blood, they're, they're, they're doing that, aren't they? So if they continue, I think they'll do well in Wandsworth, yes.